We're making a really simple to-do list template with a bit of priority statuses, drop-down menus, dates, and the really cool part about this is we are going to create a calendar at the very top. So I've already started this, just a little bit of formatting, tiny bit. I'm gonna walk through every step of the way to this simple calendar and to-do list template inside of Google Sheets. Hope you enjoy, let's go. We've already started creating a simple to-do list template and we're gonna build in a calendar here. So we're gonna need some dates here, but first we're gonna need some tasks. Here's the tasks we do every week and we're gonna write date here. We wanna make sure this is always gonna be a date. We can write in like 317. That may become a date, but if somebody's gonna write something else here, like March or some other thing, we actually don't want that. Let's go right click and view more cell actions, data validation. Over here on the right, we're gonna add a rule and instead of drop down, it's just gonna be is valid date. We're gonna apply that to B5 colon B to apply it to the entire column from B5 down. Let's click done. And now for this date, we have a nice little picker. So we can say 17th for that. We're gonna go shopping in the mall on Saturday. We're going to drop off our laundry on Wednesday and pick it up on Friday. Our Pilates session is on Thursday and our yoga session is on Friday and our family picnic is on Saturday as well. So we have these dates. Maybe we want to also see what day of the week this is. So we'll say day, we'll go equals this and it looks like, oh, it's the same exact day, right? But let's go up to format, number and custom date and time. And we're going to change this to just the day of the week, the full name apply and then we want to apply that all the way down there so we now know the day of the week here but again we want to be able to see this in a calendar up here so we will do that but let's look at priority as well priority and is family or not so maybe we check off yes or no or is it solo all the solo events that are just me i'm going to put in blue all the family ones i'm going to put in green done and actually we want to change that to e5 colon e Click done. Is this family? No, it's solo mall shopping with family. I'm only doing the laundry pickup. Pilates session is only me. Yoga session is only me and the family picnic. Yep, family. And just like we did that, we can add a drop down menu here for priority. Again, D5 colon D. And we can have low priority, medium priority, and high priority. Low we can put as yellow, medium, we can say is orange and high priority is red. We don't want to miss those. Let's make them really red. So like the family picnic, we definitely want to have that. Uh, our exercise medium priority. It's probably low priority that we have to actually pick up the laundry, but dropping it off it may be a little bit better. Mall shopping, low priority, grocery shopping, high priority. We don't want to miss that. And now we want to see this all in a calendar up here. We want to know, Anything that we put in our list down here, even if it's next week, two weeks from now, what is on our calendar this week? So let's put in today. Now this is a date, but we can also format this as the day of the week, just like we did before. Custom date and time, apply. Today is Monday, and then we wanna go copy this, but instead of equals today, it's equal to a two plus one. So now we have the day and every day forward. So all of the next seven days. Pretty cool, right? Pretty simple. But let's see what's on each of these days. What are each of these tasks? We can go equals filter. We're gonna filter the task range on the condition that B4 colon B is equal to this A2. We have grocery shopping here. We want to make sure we put a dollar sign in front of the columns, but not A2. So now we copy and paste this and we're gonna find there's an A, there's even a reference error because we would overwrite something in E4. What does that mean? That means that there might be multiple items on Friday. Here's Friday, yes, they're yoga and laundry. So we need to edit this and we need to go join and our delimiter is a quote plus a command enter plus a quote and there. That will join each of these items in here anytime we have a 
something there, it'll join it with a new line. There you go. Now we can see multiple items. But this NA, no filters found. So let's do if NA, wrap it around filter, put a comma and nothing. And so we just have blanks there whenever we have found nothing. So now we have a pretty cool calendar to show us our next seven days, what's available in our schedule, what's the next task. Anytime we add a task here, review week, we can say we're gonna do that on Sunday, and right away it's in our calendar up here. We can set this to a low priority solo yes. So every Sunday we can review our calendar, and that's a simple to-do list template with a built-in calendar up here at the top that shows us the next seven days. And this will move, this today will automatically move every day. So tomorrow it'll show Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then next Monday. So the next seven days should be pretty cool. Hopefully it's super useful for you. And if you find this interesting in any way, shape or form, comment down below what you find interesting and subscribe today. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.